Alright, I am back. I exist once again. Uh, clear all save data? Yes, please. Stalling out Kadabra? Yeah, I stalled out that Kadabra so hard, man. So hard. Get stalled out, dude. That was so bad. I've never seen that happen before. I've never seen that happen. That was ridiculous. He used teleport like what, five turns in a row? That was crazy. Oh my goodness. Alright, I have two questions. I don't know if anyone's super Pokemon savvy and knows the answers to these questions, but I figure I'll ask anyways. One, is Disable a normal type move or a psychic type move? And then two, does anyone by chance know if, um, the rival fight on SSN, is that using, like, the advanced AI where they, like, try to hit you with your weakness? Or is it, like, a normal fight? Like, I'm not sure. It's like, the teleport, for instance, like, that would be just as likely, yeah? And disable's normal? Okay, okay. Fair enough. Disable is normal. Got it. Wasn't sure if that was psychic. So, like, if it's psychic, then that's, like, one more, like, safety chance there. But if it's not psychic, then it's not as safe as I wish it was. Alright, so I've had two runs die to SSA and Rival now. We give a nickname to Squirtle? Yep, his name is I. You thought this was trivia again? Nah, it's not trivia. I was just hoping people actually knew the answers to help me out. Yo, thanks for everybody helping me out, man. I appreciate that. You know, anybody that's, you know, giving me these answers to help me out with my Pokemon speedruns. Y'all are the best. Alright, Bulbas. Did I just fail my Tail Whip? Oh, no. Not, not like this, man. Not like this. Okay, he's failing his Growl. That's good. Give me a good hit. Oh my goodness. Squirtle's hitting like nothing. Yeah, nah. <laughs> we'll, we'll reset that, man. That's a really bad Bulbasaur fight. Like, I I think I Gen 1 missed Tail Whip. I've never done that before. I've never Gen 1 missed Tail Whip. I, I didn't know you could Gen 1 miss status moves. But I guess that's just what it says. Like, instead of saying it misses, it fails. It's interesting. You know, Soccer says, here's an answer to help with the speedrun. TM28 is Tombstoner. Don't believe the naysayers. Yo, man. It's Doctor with the opposite of an assist. You know, TM28 is not Tombstoner. They're trying to have me fight an extra trainer in, uh, Blaine's Pokemon Gym. Because you have to answer the questions in this gym, or, like, you're gonna get busted. I wanna get busted, man. No thank you, no bus, please. There's only like two poison types in Gen 7, is there? What is that? Muck and uh... What is it? Muck and Arbok, right? Are those the two poison types? Wait, no, oh, you mean new poison types. Maybe? I know there's a Toxapex, I think its name is? Something like that. Oxa something. I use one of those. Yeah, Marini, I think, evolves into it. And then what would the other poison type be? I'm sure there is one. Oh, Gen 6, not Gen 7. Excuse me. I'm just on the wrong generation over here. Uh, doopa 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 doo. Gen 6. I know there was the... Oh, wait, no. Gudra's not poison. It's just dragon. But there was that other water poison Pokemon that evolves into Poison Dragon. Can't remember what its name was. Yeah, that Pokemon had an interesting design. Marini to Toxapex. Yeah, there we go. That's the Pokemon I was thinking of. Not the right 
thing for what Controlius was asking, but that helps me out. Okay, there's the growl. Yo, Bulbasaur, please! Don't do this to me! The Poison Dragon now? Yeah, wasn't Poison Dragon in Gen 6? Not like super fresh new or anything. Oh my goodness, man. <laughs> Bulbasaurs, please. I would like to not start with a super bad Bulbasaur. Like, it doesn't even have to be like super good, right? It doesn't have to be a super good Bulbasaur. I'll take a bad Bulbasaur, right? Like, let me Tail Whip, and he can Growl, which is like... Oh, whoops, I didn't set the settings. Like, I'll Tail Whip, he can Growl, and like, that's a complete waste of a turn, right? But, on the next turn, let me Tail Whip again, and then him tackle me, and I'll take that fight. I'll take that fight. Don't be it Tail Whip Growl, Tail Whip Growl. And then like, I go to tackle, and like, I miss or something, or he uses the extra Growl, and he wins the speed tie. Like, come on. Yeah, Poison-type Pokémon, man, they're doing a little bit better in the newer generations of Pokémon than they were in the older days. Because, yeah, now there's this new powerful Fairy-type that people use. Yeah, people aren't used to being weak to Poison, so they usually aren't, like, looking to make sure that it's like, Yeah, nah, no Poison gonna mess up my team. Then you play those Poison-type Pokémon, and they're like, Oh, whoops! I did see that, uh, Sludge Ball coming! That sludge wave. Hey man, is what it is. You just want Toxicroak, poison fighting, it's awesome. Yo, that's a cool Pokemon. I like him. I wish he was a water type Pokemon, but he is cool. I mean he's a frog, it's like come on. Gimme give, give me the water typing, but no. Poison fighting. You know, when are they gonna do triple tech Pokemon? I mean, the closest to anything like that would just be a two type Pokemon that happens to have an attack that also can hit two types. I mean, that's not quite it, but it's like, I don't know, it's the closest we're gonna get, I think. Wait, no, that's not true. There is a Pokemon that's like three types effectively, isn't it? Hmm. There's something. I feel like it has an ability that gives it like an additional weakness or super effectiveness against something. Uh, I want to say that's a thing, but I, I can't remember. Uh, what is it? What am I thinking of? There's a Pokemon. I don't know. I'll have to like really look into that, man. Lolan Marowak might as well be ground type. I mean, but like that's not it. Cause I mean, yeah, he has the immunity to the electricity, which is pretty useful. But it's not what I'm looking for. There's a Pokemon that's way closer to like effectively being three types due to its uh, Pokemon ability. Halucha has a move that is both flying and fighting type. Yeah, Halucha, man. Alucha is pretty cool, and yo, look at this! Look at this rival fight! Yo, look at this right now! Oh, this is good. Does Alolan Marowak have Lightning Rod? Yeah, he does. He's a pretty good Pokemon, man. Alolan Marowak. That is one sweet Pokemon, dude. No fighting dragon? Yo, this is true. They've yet- wait, no, no, no. Yeah, they did in uh, Gen 7? Oh, okay, that's what you're talking about, isn't it? I think I've missed some things. Yeah, the Como-O or whatever it was called. You meant the ability? Yeah. Akumo-O. Is that what it was called? I knew there was an H and an O involved. A couple of those. We got there. In Como O? Yeah, I, I can't remember all of them. <laughs> I really don't. Troy says there is a fighting dragon. There isn't a poison dragon besides the new mythic though, which seems wrong. Wait, but wasn't the poison dragon in Gen 6? 
Or was that already disproven and I missed it? I could have sworn. Like, uh, Skelp or Skrelp or whatever. Whatever that thing was called. And then it evolved. Water poison to poison dragon. Dragalge? Is that what it's called? That's the poison dragon I'm talking about? And Amane says, hello, Super Fresh Run You. Yo, how you doing, Amane? Yo, man, I've been on, like, some pretty good paces, dude. Pretty good paces. And, uh, let's see, what, what have I lost them to? I have lost them to... Um, messing up my manipulation, because I'm bad. Messing up, um... Nah, pretty much that. Pretty much just messing up my manipulation. I did that once. And then everything else has been dying to rival fight in SSN. He's too strong, man. He's too good. Got me. Have I fought anyone? No. Okay. Oh, there's two poison dragons? Nagan... Naganadel is also a poison dragon? Yo, I've never heard of a Naganadel. You're making up Pokemon. What's a Naganadel? I mean, I'm all, I'm all down, man. People want to invent their own Pokemon. That's cool. More power to you. Flygon just looks like a dragon bug. I like Flygon. Flygon's cool, man. Not OP like Garchomp. Garchomp, man. Yo, is this a one encounter route one? Off of a good Bulbasaur? Yo, we're about to gold split, guys. We're about to get this gold split, dude. It's gonna be so free. Like, literally, all I have to do is not get trolled by, um, the NPC. Can't walk left. Which he didn't. Then I have to not mess up my RNG manipulation, which I should be fine on, I think. Pretty sure I should be fine. Yeah, we will gold split this, man. Alright, so far so good, but the manipulation's not over. I still gotta get this... Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Ah, oh, it didn't work! Oh, rip. Yeah, nah, man. The gold split was right there, but we didn't get it, man. That's really bad luck, dude. Really bad luck. I didn't get the YOLO ball. Like, I did it just right, but... There's like, there's two different timers. There's one for getting the manipulation on Nidoran, and one for getting like, uh, the Yolo Ball. Oh, don't tell me he's not gonna go into any of the first four balls, please. Like, it's a 33% catch rate, and he's popping out of everything. Like, come on. Yeah, that's a reset, dude. Oh my goodness. That is so unlucky, why? Why am I just, I just don't ever have luck, man. I just don't have luck. This is like, you need so much luck to have a good Pokemon Red Run, like you really do. You need to be lucky for two hours. For like about two hours, you just need to be like decent luck. Like I'm not even asking to like, I'm not looking for world record pace over here, you know? I'm just trying to PB by two minutes. And, like, I'll take any PB, right? Like, I'll take any PB. If I PB by one second, that's fine. I'll be a little salty, but, like, I'll take it. But it's like, I can't even catch Nidoran on, like, the second or third ball. Like, I'll take the fourth, right? Like, fourth ball Nidoran? That's, that's bad luck. But I'll take it. But no, my luck's so atrocious. Like, he pops out of the fifth ball, dude. And, like, you need at least three Pokeballs. One to catch Nidoran, one to catch Paris, one to catch Pidgey or Sparrow. And like, he popped out of five, but I only had the two balls left, so it's like, okay, it's all over. But like, I had the bad luck in the fact that like, my manipulation didn't work all the way through. Which I think is like a 3 out of 60 chance of happening. It's something like that. So that was just bad luck. It happens. Oh, and like, it's just a shame because I had a really good Bulbasaur fight. The Bulbasaur fight was great, and I had the best Route 1 I've ever had. 
you know, the best route one where I only had one encounter. Like, it doesn't get better than that. I was gonna get the gold split, and then the game was like, oh, try to go fast, are you, buddy? Can't have you doing that. Oh, but come on, man, cut me some slack. Please. Just a little slack. Just a little bit. Alright, I'll take this squirrel, yeah? Hey, received a Squirtle. Wanna give it a nickname? Yes. His name is I. Nidoran used Tombstoner to end the run? Rip. Now, Pyra says, I read up on how captures worked in Gen 1, and you're surprised to realize that what you suspected to be true was as far... Um, was as far as how Great Ball and Ultra Ball worked? It got me, man. I, I don't really know what you're talking about. Like, all I know with the balls is that they have a higher catch rate. But, yeah, you got me. I don't know any of the, like, hot specifics. Yo, he failed growl, let's go! This could be another good Bulbasaur. Alright, my attack DV is apparently low. This isn't the strongest Squirtle in the West. It's gonna get that growl to slow me down a little bit. And there's a double growl. Okay, yeah, why do we get excited? <laughs> why do I, why do I bother to get excited, man? Oh, come on. And Mane says, uh... Nagan Adele is an Ultra Beast from Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Oh, that explains why I've never seen it. I haven't played the Ultras. This is actually decent. This is a decent Bulbasaur. Like, it could have been way worse. It could have been way, 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 way worse. I will take this to the bank. Cash it in, let's go. I'm not trying to have, like, the best Bulbasaur. Like, there's so much more of the run. If I have, you know, decent-ish luck here, that's good enough. Level 2? Level 2? Nah, never level 2, right? It's a... Yeah, this isn't a good sign to have an encounter this early, and oh wow, look at that damage. Is this going to be a 4 hit level 3 Radita? Yeah, it is. This is... <laughs> this is kind of bad. This is kind of bad, man. I mean, even with that though, like... Who knows, man. There's, there's so much more between here and the end of the game. Anything could happen. And like, yeah, my attack stat's really low. I don't know that my special stat's low. Maybe we'll have a really good Brock fight. That would be nice. That would be super cool, man. It'd be dandy. All right, leave me alone, Pidgey. Dude, man, I'm like 30 seconds slower than I was last time. 30 seconds slower. But I mean, that's just Pokemon. How would the speedrun be different if I was running blue version? Um, essentially, you catch Nidoran Male. That's the go-to Pokemon for speedrunning this game. He has amazing stats, he has an amazing move pool. He can learn very, very useful moves for the speedrun. Uh, in Pokemon Blue, you uh, catching Nidoran is a lot harder. I believe he has a 5% encounter rate, where I think he has 35% in Pokemon Red. So the odds are a lot lower. Though to be fair, you can just do a manipulation. If you know how to manipulate the RNG, you could do that. And so technically, you'd be just as likely to catch Nidoran in either game. But the manipulations are different between red and blue, so you would have to route it out yourself. People don't route out manipulations in blue, mostly because, you know, Nidoran has the higher encounter rate. So it would take more time to figure out the manipulations for blue. But theoretically, blue could be the faster game. There could be some manipulation that no one's found yet, where like you can get the Nidoran male and he has perfect stats, and there's a better manipulation for Mount Moon, and a better manipulation for, I don't know, Lieutenant Surge? No, nah, that'd kind of be hard to beat. The, manip the manipulation for Lieutenant Surge in Pokemon Red is like, literally the best. I can't imagine it being any better than that. But, Having a slower manip on Lieutenant Surge and a good manip on Mount Moon would change everything. But, apparently those manipulations don't exist, so... We don't know. Someone would have to figure it out, man. 
Versus at the end of the day, Great Ball is actually better than Ultra Ball at high health levels. Oh yeah? That's weird. Really weird. Find a lit minute for yellow that puts them both to shame? Well, that's the problem. People run Pokemon Yellow. Pokemon Yellow does have manipulations. And they're not as good. Pokemon Yellow is just a slower game. It is what it is. It's most likely Red's the fastest game. Like, Red's without a doubt faster than Yellow. Like, there's no doubts there. Red's way faster than Yellow is. But... Blue could be a secret speedy game. We just don't know yet. Alright, let's see if Nidoran's gonna be chill this go around. Alright, if you can just go into the ball this time, that'd be real cool. Oh my goodness! Nah, I must have failed that. I think I hit it a little too slow. Alright. We went in the second ball this time though, so that's cool. It's just a shame he couldn't do that last time. It's like, I was on such, like, I was so lucky. And the luckiest route won, the, not the luckiest Bulbasaur, but a pretty lucky Bulbasaur, relatively. And so it was like, even on second ball, I would have been ahead. But now with this Route 1, with the three encounters, the like, normal Bulbasaur fight instead of the like, decently good one. That Bulbasaur fight was, it was really good, man. Like, if I... Like, I've played this game a lot. Like, if you look at the top of my uh, splits, which is underneath my webcam, like, it says 60 out of 295. I've completed 60 runs, I've done 295 recorded attempts. So it's like, I've seen at least 295 Bulbasaurs, and out of all those Bulbasaurs, man, nah, out of all those Bulbasaurs, they're nowhere near that good most of the time. Alright, Viridian Forest isn't starting off too nice, but like, as slow as like, Nidoran or Brock can be, these two splits, really not that big a deal. Like, the time saves here are very minimal compared to what I could get in Route 3 and Mount Moon. That's where the real time saves are. That's where, you know, dreams happen, dude. Alright, bug catcher. Show me what you got, friend. Hopefully this Weedle just does nothing but string shots. It's possible, it saves a lot of time. It's not very likely, but it's happened before, it can happen again. Alright, he's uh, gonna instantly prove me wrong by starting the uh, fight with Poison Sting. Yo, there we go, there's the first string shot. Yo, let's keep those coming, yeah? Ah, come on, come on. Do it for me, would ya? Nothing but string shots from here on out. Okay, okay, reverse psychology. Use nothing but poison stings for the rest of the fight. Oh, oh, I think it's working. Keep it up, Weedle. Use those poison stings. See, that's what, that's what it is. You gotta use the reverse psychology. Works every time. So free. My health is a little low. I'm not poisoned, so we'll walk out of the grass, we'll heal, we'll switch Pokemon. You're gonna go to sleep now, Catrolius? Yo, gotta get good? Yo, will do, man. Yo, you get your sleep. Thank you again so much, dude, for all the support, especially the tier 3 sub, man. That's crazy. I got it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Not level 5 Pikachu, please. Okay, thank goodness. Ah, uh, but Catrolius, you're a saint. As much as I dislike this Pikachu, you are the opposite. Like, that wasn't even that bad a Weedle fight. Like, the Weedle fight was decent, but the three encounters in Viridian Forest, yeah, nah. Probably gonna be losing time on this split. Probably. Yo, same here. Graham and Goose is saying goodnight. Yo, peace, man. Yo, get that rest, it's good for ya. 
Very important. Okay. Here we go. Moment of truth. What's up, Brock? How we doing? Oh yeah, this is gonna be a slow fight. It's like, I'm at 11, oh, what? Eight going into the fight? And like, before I've like knocked out Onyx at like 11.30. I still gotta get through Geodude, I gotta switch my Pokemon around. <laughs> rest, what is rest? Yeah, that's funny coming from you, Vex. You're usually one of the early people to dip out. Cause your sleep's good for you, man. I mean, you got school and stuff, man. It's very important to be rested for school. Gotta take that stuff seriously. Gotta love Monday mornings. Oh, that's true. It is Monday coming up, isn't it? You right. You right. Yeah, time's counting down. I haven't even hit. I haven't even hit Onyx yet. Yeah, that was not the average. It was definitely not the average Viridian Forest. That was especially bad. Right now, I'm about to find out how much time you lose on, um... Just the, like, jingles. And talking to Brock until the fight finishes. The answer is 20 seconds. <laughs> Man, that's slow. Yeesh, dude. I mean, like, I've been on really good runs where I've been like 14 seconds behind. So it's like, what, another 6 seconds? I don't think it's that big a deal. Nope, not potions. Or Pokeballs, I want the potions. And your Vex says, I wasn't aware of 11 p.m. to midnight was early. <laughs> My B. Yo, look, you gotta realize, Vex, it's because we're all, like, you know, well, some of us are just different time zones. But all of us are, like, what, what's the word? Young at heart, man. So, like, we can just, we can go forever. Like, 3 a.m., that's nothing. But midnight? Psst, what is this? Baby o'clock? Oh, man. Gotta stay up. Play some Pokemon. No baby o'clocks over here. Yo, I'm getting hit a lot on this fight, dude. I'm used to, like, just getting hit by nothing but string shots. And Doctor says, Young at heart me fell asleep at work today after staying up so late last night. Yo, it happens, man. We can't all stay up every night. We can only be so strong. Fire says they tied, uh, back up at the spider boss? Oh, that's cool. Good old spider bosses. Alright, Caterpie, I'm gonna have to ask you to, like, be mad chill and just kind of, like, exit the fight. You need a tackle? Okay. Ah, jeesh. I missed tackle. Perfect. Perfect! Alright, so what? Yeah, I can heal to full, so that's fine. You know, anything is possible, man. Route's starting off a little slow. A little slow. But, got full HP. Going in the youngster, anything is possible. Okay, hit by rep, probably gonna reset. <laughs> Yo, don't hit me with rep. Don't do it, okay? Just don't do it. Alright, there's the tackle. Not a super big deal. There's the quick attack. Okay, that hurts. Mmm, 12 HP. Yeah, I don't feel like yoloing. I just, I don't have any YOLO luck. 
He's gonna quick attack. Well, it's a good thing I didn't YOLO, because I would have died. And I didn't want to miss- oh, no, 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 he's faster than me. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, I was a little quick to call out the Jin one miss. No, no, no. No, no, no. I just forget, man. I ride it to- he doesn't have to quick attack to outspeed me. He can just tackle or tail whip, it works all the same. Alright, no reps, please. Vex says, uh, maybe you wouldn't get so many Jin one misses. You got some rest once in a while. Yo, I get rest every day, man. Like, I sleep seven to nine hours. It just kind of depends. Like, I usually sleep for about seven hours, but every now and then, like, I'll really pass out and I'll just be down for nine. I don't mean to sleep for nine. I'd rather eight at most, man. Nine's a little too long. Yo, Weedle, please. Oh, I was supposed to tackle him. I wasn't supposed to horn attack. I forgot. Well, is what it is. Alright, so if I can, like, crit all the Kakunas again. Oh, yo, let's go! I crit him as I was saying that. Oh, man. Yo, seven to nine hours of sleep? You can only dream of that much sleep? Yo, it shouldn't be a dream. It should be your life. Yo, how many horn attacks do I have? I feel like not enough. But no, I, I crit Kakuna, I should be fine. Yeah, this'll do me. But can I have the crit on Metapod 2? <laughs> not quite. Hey man. You know, I, I figured I'd ask. I didn't see why not. Alright, so this is this is not the worst Route 3, man. This is not the worst. Like, my Route 3 that I had, my PB I think was like pretty good. Oh no! It must have been awful! There's a minute and 33 seconds to save on the split. Oh jeez. No, I can't remember these things. Some of the runs blur together, man. Yeah, apparently- Oh yeah, that's right. That's right, I remember now. I got hit by Rap. Twice. It all together took nine turns, because Rap hit me five times, and then it hit me four times. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Not too hard to beat, but... Doesn't have to be if- Oh, oh, did I get a crit again. Thank you. Thank you, Metapod. Yo, what is this, man? I'm just critting all the Cocoon Pokémon. Feels so good. Alright. If I can just not double Jigglypuff. Okay, the first tile of grass I walk in. Is it a Sparrow? What, level 5? Level 5. Alright, we're gonna tackle this guy. Yo, enjoy the tackle. Am I gonna crit him? It's been a little bit... Nope. Feels good, man. You gonna be real chill going to the Pokeball? My man. Alright. Yeah, we're definitely not saving as much time as I would like to, but... We're taking some of that with us, man. Taking some of it with us. <laughs> Double Jigglypuff. Yo, that is like just the worst, man. It's like rolling two Nat 1s in a row. I'm pretty sure, not 100%, but I'm pretty sure Jigglypuff's encounter rate on this route is 5%. And it's like, how am I running into Jigglypuff, dude? Come on. <laughs> Yo, Time Hero. What's up, man? Alright, give me the time. Hey. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Now we're playing Pokemon Red. Now we're doing a speedrun, dude. I mean, like, I'm saying that a little early. <laughs> I'm a little early to be saying that, because, like, we gotta do Nugget Bridge. Oh, whoops. Oh, wow. Oh, super wow. Yeah, I just messed up my manipulation because I'm super bad. Let's try that again. Let's be a bit more focused. Wish your PB had such an easy Route 3 time save on it, but like, that's the trick, right? Like, you either have an easy time save on Route 3, or you don't. You know? It's, it's that simple. 
So like, you do your PB, right? Like you're going for the PB, terrible Route 3. And then it's like, okay, free PB, and then you do Route 3 again, and then it's like really good. And then you try your PB again after that, and like, now it's hard, because it's like you saved all that time on Route 3. Like, you know, wishing for easy things in like one segment. You know, it's like, what's the word? I don't know. But you're always gonna cause yourself your problems, you know? Like, the better you get at the game, the less time you're gonna have to save. Always gonna lose time somewhere. I lost my time just being bad at manipulating, because I was like mashing A and B for some reason. The time here says, remember when it comes to bad luck, uh, stuff. You, the odds gain like a 75% increase? Yo, bad luck stuff for me does happen with an increase. You're not wrong. Like, cause again, apparently, you know, there's 181 chances to like Gen 1 miss per run, according to Vexatious. And I generally Gen 1 miss about three times. And a Gen 1 miss- wait, what? How did I not two-hit Oddish? What happened? What was that? That's weird. Whatever. But, um, what was I saying? Yeah, it's a 1 out of 256 to get a Gen 1 miss. So, statistically, theoretically, you shouldn't really have that problem. You shouldn't Gen 1 miss, like, once a run. I Gen 1 miss three times a run. Just all on the regular. What? I didn't fight- I didn't fight the guy, did I? Whoops. Ah, oh. I didn't fight the guy with like Magnemite and um... The other thing. Well. Uh... Um... Hmm. <laughs> I don't have that XP. If I don't have that XP, I can't... I can't beat Misty. What do I do? I mean, I can fight some Zubats. I could do that. Reset? I could also reset. Oops, man. Oh my goodness. And yeah. Well, hey, this is this is fine. We got the um. I did the manipulation just right. Manipulation was perfect. We got the in-game timer. So like, the run died by itself, anyways. I mean, the run was already dead at that point like i mean i was gonna try to save it i was gonna try to fight some like zubats or something but oh my goodness could i get a run out of the dirt please like the very first run i did today i guess spoiled me it's like no resets like i just took the bulbasaur it wasn't a great bulbasaur um i took the brock fight it was it was like average it wasn't like super good or anything it was just average which does save time, I think. I think my PB Brock was kind of bad. But yeah, we took an average Brock, saved a little bit of time when, cause yeah, we had a bad Route 1 in an Interan. And then, um, yeah, we had a really good Mount Moon. Yeah, we had a really good Mount Moon. And then we had a decent Route 3. Not a really good one, just a decent one. And then, um, yeah, man, I should have PB'd on that run. Cause yeah, we had a good Nugget Bridge too. Again, not a, like, super crazy one, just, just a good one. It's just, oh, it's so tough, man. Like says, well, time for me to go to bed so you can get your PB. Not going to happen while I'm watching, you know, probably not. It's probably what it is, man. Vexatious is cursing me. He says he's cheering me on. He says he's cheering, but no, I can see it, man. In his eyes. He actually wants me to go super slow, and so he wills that into fruition, man. <laughs> but yo, get that sleep, Vex, it's good for you. Very important. Now, take one tiny turtle, please. Hey, received a squirtle. Wanna give it a nickname? Yeah, name him I. <laughs> Wadi da. Peace out. Yeah, later, man. Thanks for coming by, dude. 
Always appreciate it. Okay. Here we go. This is going to be the run, man. This is it. All good luck. No more bad luck. No more bad luck. I'm going to have good luck everywhere, dude. So much good luck. I'm not going to know what to do with it all. It's going to be glorious. Like, watch him. Yeah, he's going to start with tackle on turn one. And win the speed tie, but still tackle on turn two. That's where it's at, man. Vinx has 100% consistency at Vinx Manip. <laughs> Vinx Manip. Oh, man. Alright. Oh, you better fail that growl. And then just win the speed tie and growl again. That is so lame, man. And you're like, oh, he's not gonna hit me with growl. And then, like, he does it anyways. My Squirtle's hitting with paper towels for hands, man. Wet paper towels. Come on. Come on, Squirtle. My luck is atrocious? Always. Legend says four different zero DVs. Are you telling me I have all zero DVs? There's no way. There's no way, man. Literally no way. I don't believe. Super wet noodle you? Yeah. I don't know what to do, man. Don't know what to do. Yeah, this Squirtle's hitting like nothing, man. Look at that. It's gonna take four hits to knock out this Pidgey. It's gonna take so much damage. How's Sabrina doing? Yo, I wouldn't know, man. I fought her like the one time, and that's been that. Oh, you're saying Vex gets the Manip to give me four different zero DVs. Got you. And I was like, looking at my HP, I, I don't think I have zero DVs. Yeah, no, it, it couldn't be, because you can have lower HP than what I had. Just not paying full attention, it's all good, man. Not a problem. Alright, so... Super trolly Bulbasaur fight. Super trashy Squirtle, at least physically. Yo, hopefully his special. Good, man. Oh, dude, this is so slow. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. Can still have, like, a decent Nidoran time. I just need to not have any more encounters. No Gen 1 missed today? Nah, I've Gen 1 missed... How many times? I don't know, probably about like... Near 10. I've Gen 1 missed like near 10 times. I don't think it was exactly 10. I know I Gen 1 missed in the run I like completed. Um, I've missed two times and two other runs. That's 7 right there. I've probably gotten some other Gen 1 misses that I just can't recall right this second. Gen 1 missed on Ekans? Yeah, I did Gen 1 miss on Ekans. I just, I have really bad luck, man. It's 1 out of 256, dude. Like, I don't understand, man. Like, I watch other people play this game, and I always get so excited watching people play. It's like, wow, look at them, you know, taking these risks here, and, you know, doing this, doing that. Wow, that looks so cool. Let me try to emulate that in my play. And, like, I'll attempt to do things like that, and I'm gonna fail every time. Like, People just YOLO left and right. They're like, what? I got no HP. This Caterpie could take me out. Better keep attacking. Oh, what? This Caterpie can also take me out? Better keep attacking. It's like, come on. Why can't I have, like, I don't even need luck like that obscene, right? When you go through the game with, like, no HP. And, like, you could lose every single turn. And you just happen not to. Like, or it's a 50-50 coin flip. And you're getting heads every single time. Like, I don't need that. I don't need luck that good. I really don't. To get what I want, I don't need good luck. I need average, decent luck. Just average and decent. But I don't know how to have average or decent luck. I only know how to have bad luck, man. It's impossible. It's so hard. I don't know how people do it, man. Yeah, this is a- this is really bad Route 1. It'd be at like 6.30 at the mart. This is pretty bad. Give me seven Pokeballs. Thank you very kindly. Oh, 
Well, at least I wasn't trolled by the, uh, villager, or whatever you want to call him. He didn't go left. That's cool. I appreciate it. Oh, this is such a bad Nidoran split, dude. But, like, whatever, man. Not that big a deal. Like, this doesn't mean anything. Like, it really doesn't. Like, it sucks being this far behind, but it's like, it doesn't matter. This is literally the beginning of the run. Like, I'll sacrifice, you know? Like, if I have that option, let me have all the bad luck right here. Let me have good luck, like, throughout the end of the run, man. Let me have good luck on everything after Koga. That'd be really cool. But, like, that's the thing, though. I can't have literally the worst luck on everything up to that point. If I do, then, like, I'm going to die. <laughs> like, I can't have literally the worst luck. Oh, whoops. I had to push my, uh, desk. Didn't mean to do that. It's like, say, Misty, for example. You can't have bad luck on her. You gotta, like, if you have average luck, then, like, you know, there's a decent chance she'll bubble beam crit you, and then she'll hit you with water gun. It's not that big a deal. Actually, no, she only gets to hit you the one time. You have decent luck. You have bad luck. He's gonna use, um, the X-Defend. You have really bad luck. Not only will she X-Defend, but she's gonna get two Bubble Beams out. If you have even worse luck than that, you know, like, they're both gonna crit. You're super dead. And if you have the worst luck of them all... Not only are you gonna Gen 1 miss her, turn 1, but also... The bubble beam is going to reduce your speed, so you literally can't win the fight. There's nothing you can do. Nothing you can do but lose. Like, there's oh, there's just too much stuff like that. Shorts are comfy and easy to wear? This is true, man. This is true. Like, if I was gonna have this encounter, give it to me, like, one tile ahead, dude. Oh, I did not get the potion pickup. Fuck, too many tiles. Literally two instead of one. I went for one. Didn't get the item pickup. Mash an A. Alright, so, like, here's another example of, like, good luck or bad luck, right? If the Weedle uses mostly string shots, that's good luck. He poisons me the first time he hits me with Poison Sting? That's absolutely terrible luck. Oh, yo, fancy that! Nah, nah, I'm gonna let that go. I'm gonna let that go, man. That's just, it's just all trash, right? It's like, I had the bad Bulbasaur, the bad Rot one, and then, like, I already had two encounters before I even got to Weedle. Which is already, like, each encounter is, like, 10 seconds gone. So, like, I'm already losing that. And then on top of that, he's gonna poison me on the very first turn he hits me with Poison Sting. Ah, oh, jeesh. Feels bad, man. Wrong tile? Yeah, I walked two tiles ahead. If I had been, if I had been the one tile ahead when I had the encounter, I would've got the free jingle skip on the potion, but I was two tiles back, so I couldn't get it. Or two tiles away from the trainer, but one tile away from the potion. You get what I'm trying to say. Here for Crax says, sorry for my short stay, but good night, yo, it's all good, man. You've been in here for hours, I would not call that a short stay. I was just teasing Vex earlier, man. Nah, anyone that's in here for like five hours or whatever. Yo, y'all are the best, man. Being in my stream this long. Crazy. You need a family? Yo, that's important, man. I've been there, you know, I have to family sometimes too. Super Sin Slayer says, so how many runs have died through Tombstoner? Oh, from me like answering the wrong question? Um, like, I don't know, like I was mostly bad when I was, like, answering Tombstoner, so, like, those- that was, like, back in the day where, like, I could choose Tombstoner and, like, still PB. Cause, like, my runs were already that bad. It was, like... I would just kind of lose time, or I'd be on, like, a red run already. 
So I've literally lost zero runs to Tombstoner, technically. I've made the mistake multiple times, but I haven't lost the run to Tombstoner, not yet. Maybe one day in the near future. That day, I don't think is today. Probably not. But oh man, come on, give me... Just give me decent luck. Doesn't have to be good, just decent luck, man. Please. Pretty please. Bless RNG. Alright, Growl turn one. That's, uh, pretty bad. Could be worse, though. Okay, yeah, he's gonna tackle turn two. That's fine. That's fine, I can work with that. I can work with this. Unless he growls on the very next turn. Oh my goodness, man. Oh my goodness, I'm so salty. Oh, and he growls again. Yeah, no, let that go. Let that go, man. Never decent luck. It's like, it's like, I'm not looking for good luck. I don't need good luck. I can PB without good luck. I just need to stop having absolutely terrible garbage rubbish. Completely terrible luck. <laughs> like, that's, I don't need that, man. I really don't. Like, it's bad luck, right? For Bulbasaur to growl turn one. But it's 50-50, you know? It's fine. So it's not that big a deal. What you do is you just tail whip on turn two. Which I did, and then he tackled me. So I was like, oh, okay, things are looking good. But then he won the speed tie, and then growled me. So it was just as effective. He might as well have just growled me on turn two. Which, again, is pretty bad luck. To be growled on both turn one and turn two, that's bad luck. I mean, it happens now and then. But man, for me, it feels like it happens, like, every run. You know, my luck stats, less than zero, it really is. I should make him an X2 and then show that I don't need luck. Yo, man. I mean, I don't need luck in games where luck isn't a factor. <laughs> like, it really helps. Your Bane stat too? Yo, luck is my worst stat, man. Yo, people always, like... They'll tell me, like, yeah, you know, I play this game too, and I'm pretty unlucky, ha ha ha. And it's like, dude, man, you don't know what bad luck looks like. Unless you can flip a coin 14 times in a row and get tails every time, you just don't live in the same dimension that I do. The dimension of no luck. It's not something, you know, I covet. I don't admire my position of being like one of the unluckiest speedrunners known to man. <laughs> but it just it just be nice, man. Cause like it's probability, right? It's probability. I can't have a bad like Bulbasaur fight every single time. It's not possible. It's just not how probability works. So, that being the case, this has gotta be the good Bulbasaur fight. Here we go. Alright, so turn one tackle, that is a good sign. I mean, I did get crit, but you know, we roll with that. Alright, he's gonna growl me, that invalidates the tail whip I just did. But you know, whatever. Alright, Squirtle's looking pretty bad, I already don't deal damage, and he's put another growl on top of that. Alright, this is looking pretty bad, as long as he doesn't growl me again, and like, maybe if I could get a critical hit, you know, maybe it'll be okay. Oh, he failed the growl, okay, okay. So this is what I would call below average luck right now. But it could be so much worse. It really could. You know, we should roll with this. If I can, like, beat him in, like, two more turns. Alright, one more hit. One more hit will do it. There we go. 243 on faint. That's pretty slow. It's, it's not the worst. It's far from the worst, man. But that that is what you would call below average luck. That is a below average Bulbasaur. That was pretty lame. But... You know, there's so much more of the run left. We could have the best Route 1. We could have the best Route 1, and that'll take care of everything that we've just experienced. This is not a good sign to get an encounter in like the very first like five or six bushels of grass. But um, it is what it is. Why am I tail whipping the red to- Oh yeah, because I have no attack set. <laughs> That's why I forgot. Yeah, if I can two hit the Ratata, it's effectively the same thing as uh, three tackles. And a crit when he's already in lethal. Okay, so. Outlook not good, but anything could change, you know. 
Like the odds are pretty low that that'll be my only encounter for Route 1, but it could be. It's perfectly possible, you know? We got through the rest of uh, going up here. No encounters, we only have to go through Route 1 two more times. We don't have an encounter on the way down. A really good sign. I mean, it doesn't mean too much. You can have like five encounters on one up trip through Route 1. Whereas going down through Route 1, you're very likely to have zero to one encounters. Like zero is pretty high. Very likely you'll have zero encounters on your way back down. Yeah, we will see. Alright, yep, zero encounters. We gotta go up through there one more time. One more time, dude. Come on, not now, Blue. Nobody wants to hear it. Yo, I just, I want to believe. I want to believe that it's my time. Everything I've been through, that it's led up to this. That would be cool. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Moment of truth. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Alright, two encounters, not the worst. If we can uh, just hold on to this being the only encounters, that would be, uh, that would really work out. That would be pretty good. Because, like, the average number of encounters, all the trips through Route 1 is three. But to have two is pretty good. Okay, so there's three. So we're back up to uh, average. You know, that's fine. Average Route 3, that's pretty nice. It's just a shame that we had a bad Bulbasaur fight. We didn't have an average Bulbasaur. We had a bad Bulbasaur and then had an average Route 3. But still, this is way faster than what we did the other time we came here to Pokemart. We're like about 19 seconds faster. That's cool, man. It'd be better, but I'll take it. Would be better, but whatever, man. <laughs> whatever, dude. Ah, uh, that's that's pretty unlucky. He walks to the left. That completely ruins my manipulation. So that's uh that's really really bad. As long as he doesn't walk left again, it'll be fine. All right. So he's not gonna walk to the left. But like, it looked like we were gonna save a little bit of time there at first because we had three encounters, which is average, and we had like a slightly you know slower than average Bulbasaur. So overall things weren't too good, but like I wasn't having like extraordinarily bad luck on that Route 1. But then the guy walks to the left and yeah, that pretty much cemented the bad luck for Route 1. That's like the unluckiest thing that could happen outside of having like six encounters. But hey man, <laughs> that's all good. What did the $25 uh, subvote go to? I don't think he gave a name for what he wanted to vote towards since Doctor. Alright. Yeah, I failed the Nidoran Manip. Yo, I need to practice this more because I've been failing it a lot. Yeah, rip again. We'll go into the third ball. 33% chance. Popped out of three so far. Oh my goodness. Oh, man. You know, I don't know what to do, man. I don't know what to do. I feel like I should just do a no-reset run at this point. Just, like, no matter how bad the luck is, just do the run. What do you guys think? Should I just do the run, no matter what? Like, even if I have all the worst luck and lose all the time, should I just do the run anyways? Or should I just reset into oblivion until my time finally... Finally comes. But yeah, oh my goodness. This video game hates me so much. What's he been voting on? Controllus has been voting on like a huge number of things. 
<laughs> no reset run? Finish the fight? Yeah, we could do that. Complete two runs today. This is such a shame, man. I was like, I'm gonna finish three runs today. It's gonna be so good. At least three runs. And I thought I was I was in such a good spot, right? Because like when I first started today, like the very first run that I did, bam, no problem. Got that out of the way, dude. Finished it, no worries. Like I didn't reset on Bulbasaur, nothing. Started the stream, finished the run. And then everything after that's been so downhill. I've been resetting for like, I don't know, three hours now? It feels pretty bad, dude. I mean, two of the runs made it to SSN. That was kind of cool. Yeah, I'm filling it. This is this is the no reset run. I'm gonna do whatever it takes just to finish the run. No matter what. No matter what, dude. I don't even care. I have the worst Bulbasaur. The worst Route 1. Give me the 17 encounters. Give me, um... Five encounters in Viridian Forest. Level 5 Pikachu that kills my Nidoran. Oh, I don't know, man. That, that might be a bit much. <laughs> that might be a bit much. Uh, we'll see. Hmm, I could lose this fight. I don't know, I got the two tail whips in. Oh, and I crit off of it. Oh, that's really bad. I could have had the three hit Bulbasaur, but I got the crit. I mean, this is still above average. This is well above average for me. As long as I don't die. Yo, and the red bar? Alright, let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go, dude! Finally! <laughs> Finally a good Bulbasaur fight! About time! And that's with the crit, dude. Which I know crits are normally good luck. Critical hits are normally good luck, but... When you use Tail Whips, they're bad luck. It's like, the Tail Whips increase your damage. Alright, so getting encountered this early. This isn't a good sign, but level 2? Yo, finally! Finally a level 2 Rattata! This has to be a good omen. Yo, can I crit him though? Get the two hits. Kinda close. Good damage range. Nope! Missed the tackle. Missed the tackle. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You know, that was, uh, that was pretty slow for a level 2 Radita. Missed the tackle. Didn't get the two hit. That's fine. It'd be way worse. A good Bulbasaur. Only one encounter so far. Yo, Cyclone, are you the lucky man? Is your presence here going to increase the luck of all the runs? Or really not all the runs, just this run, because this is the promised run, right? Right? I hope so. I could use a run, man. I could really use it. Yo, Professor Oak, my main man, how you doing, buddy? How you doing? Just wanted to deliver this parcel. You luck? Yo, man. Like, have you won literally anything in your entire life? Because, like, that's not extremely lucky if you've won, like, one thing in your entire life. But if you have, that's a little bit of luck. Like, you gotta understand right now, I'm running on, like, negative 50. I could use, like, one or two grams of luck. Uh, 
I don't need a whole kilo, man. One or two grams of luck, please. Last thing you won was, uh, um, yo, you gotta have something, man. Beat a video game once? I mean, that's not what I mean, like, a raffle, right? You've won raffles before, yeah? You won, like, some cool Pokemon, or you got, like, $10 off something, I don't know. You've been lucky at least once, yes? Tell me that's the case. So he walks to the right. Woo! He was moving fast that time, but not fast enough to stop me. Nice try, villager! Not this time. Ain't ruining this Nidoran. Did I have an encounter? Yeah, I did. The level 2 Radita that took me four turns to knock out. Nurse says, I remember winning $10. Here, yo, let's go. Yo, Nura's got some luck. Yo, Nura, let me borrow just a little bit, man. Just, just a little tippy bit. Itty bitty. Nothing big. Oh, finally! The gold split on Nidoran! Let's go! This is it. This is my moment. This is where it all begins. Gold Nidoran. It's all uphill from here, man. Or downhill, whichever one's easier. Let's go. I'll take this potion, I sure will. I don't remember what the HP value of my uh, Squirtle is. I need to grab the second potion? Maybe. Oh, I should grab it. Like, with how bad my runs have been, I should definitely grab the other potion. All the safety. We're, we're finishing this run, like, I don't care. I don't care if, like, all the bad things happen after this beautiful gold split. That's fine. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Not the best movement there, Mr. Vinks. Hi, my name's Kakuna. I see you're going at about a good pace. I'd like you to go at about a slower one. <laughs> no, Kakuna. This is not your time. This is my time. Dad in my face. Stupid Kakuna. Man, I've seen runners walk through all the wrong tiles and get no encounters. I need that luck. And uh, Cyclone says, oh, the last thing I won was a Pepsi sweatshirt as a door prize at a pool hall years ago. Coincidentally, your family hates it. Hey, man, you won this shirt. That's got to be like at least half a gram of luck, dude. I'll take that. That's fine. Let me borrow your luck, dude. You know, that Kakuna didn't like me, man. He didn't like me in his neighborhood. Like, yo. The place only for Kakunas. We don't like squirtles walking around here on your two legs. That tail here is bobbing back and forth. It's like you're mocking me. Mocking the fact that I don't move around because I'm a cocoon. No, I'm not, I'm not mocking you for being a bug that's going to evolve into a bee or a butterfly. Get out of here. Et to Weedle? Really? Come on, man. Cut me some slack. Super Sin Slayer is going to bed. Take my luck, yo. Thank you, Super Sin Slayer. I need all the luck I can get, so if you can just offer up just a bit of that, I appreciate it. Cyclone saying, so we had our first double anti bingo rando race in the other tournament today? Yo, that is a special sounding name. Double anti bingo rando. <laughs> bingo rando. That sounds like a Dragon Ball villain. Did I switch my Squirtle and Nidoran? 
I mean, I looked at his HP and I thought about healing him, so I want to say that I did swap. I feel like I didn't. I feel like I didn't swap. No, I did, okay. Woo! And there says, one day, me and my cousin were suddenly gods at the claw machine at the movie theaters. You want like 20 stuffed animals and you're just giving them out to any kid. Too felt great, yo. That sounds pretty awesome, man. That sounds pretty sweet. Oh boy, it's a trash squirtle. Fancy that. Oh man, with my 7 HP. But yo, I'll level up. Now I've higher than 7 HP. Oh, there we go. 9 HP. I can survive. I can survive a tackle. Not gonna heal. Not gonna heal, man. Nomless Onyx hits me. And if he crits me, then like... I'm probably gonna stop playing for the night. If he crits me, I'll probably just stop playing. Alright, that's a screech. That's pretty bad luck. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna YOLO. I'm not feeling it, man. I wanna complete the run. Alright, double screech. Triple screech. Yeah, I, I could've YOLO'd. Probably. Yeah, I absolutely could've YOLO'd. It would've been fine. But, like, I didn't know that, you know? Alright, so we're gonna lose a little time, but overall we're gonna be ahead. Which is like such a shame, man. It's like such a good Nidoran, but like Viridian Forest was like, nah. You don't need to do all of that. Were your luck with the claw machine has <laughs> diminished since then? Yeah, that's fair, man. Yo, 14 seconds ahead. I lost uh 13 seconds there, but you know, it is what it is. You lost 13 seconds, man. Oh, jeez. Kakuna and the Weedle, man. If it had been one or the other, dude, one or the other, and, like, I only would have lost, like, three, four seconds. Would have been fine. Yo, it doesn't even matter, man. This is where it starts. This is where it starts. Good ol' Route 3, man. What do they got for me? Yeah, nah. I have no luck when it comes to claw machines. I've never won anything out of claw machines unless they have, like, a guaranteed win rate. Where, like, you have to win before it'll, like, stop letting you play. Like, I've played on a few of those. And even then, you know, I have a bit of trouble, but I eventually get there, because you get to win. You have to win before it'll, like, kick you off. I like those ones. They usually have really small baby prizes. But I'm cool with that. I'll take one baby prize. Like, here's, like, two pieces of candy. Two pieces of candy! Let's go! Well worth the quarter. Cyclone says, I'm bad with claw machines, you wouldn't try? You mean, you can grab something, but then it gets caught on something else and you don't win? Yeah. Sounds about right. But that's always the worst, man. When, like, the claw goes onto the thing, and it looks like it's, like, perfect, and it, like, locks on, and it's like, oh, wow. It's got a real good grasp. It's done. It starts going up, and you're like, yeah, look at how secure that is. But then as it starts getting towards the tippy top, like, its leg or its tail or whatever, just kind of locked onto something, and yeah, it just kind of breaks free. It's the worst. Not that I have, like, a lot of experience with these things. I've used them a few times, though. Alright, this is going to be the god tier youngster fight. Gotta be. I've had so many bad fights, like I have a really good one. Alright, no tail whip. No tail whip. Oh, wait, no, 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 that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. You can't one hit you, Vinks. Even on crit, it's fine, it's perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. Don't even worry. Okay. All I need it's for Ekans to poison sting me two times. That is the god tier luck. 
The god tier luck would be two poison stings. Let's go. Okay, that's rat. That's that's not what I was looking for. That's not what I was looking for at all. And yeah, he did only hit me two times, but it's like, I didn't know that, you know? Like, I would have had to YOLO, and I'm like, I'm not gonna YOLO. Like, I could've, if I YOLO'd, I would've been in red bar, and I would've saved all the time on Route 3. It would've been really good. But, I wasn't feeling it, man. <laughs> not feeling it. Like, I'm, I'm starting ahead. I wasn't gonna risk it, man. I, I wanna finish a run. And yo, hey, it's Nova Balancing. I like shorts. <laughs> yo, that's cool, man. Gotta like those shorts, dude. Get good? Yo. I just, I'm not lucky, man. I'm not lucky. Like, all I needed, dude, all I needed was two poison stings. I mean, that wasn't super likely. He could have leered poison sting. That would have been really good, too, if he did that. And, like, that's not, like, a lot to ask for. Like, I mean, if you didn't even want to give me, like, any sort of good luck, give me, like, just two leers, right? So it wasn't going to help me get red bar. And, like, potentially if I got hit by rap, if I didn't want to miss or something, it would have been really bad. But it's like, whatever, man. That's fine. Just give me what I need. Just give me the bare minimum. I can work with that. Bare minimum. Yes and thank you. Nah, man, here's your rap. Don't, I don't want to be hit by rap. I really don't. I mean, it was only the two turns. It could have been way worse, but... <sighs> I just want good luck. I covet it so bad, man. I just see it up there. What good luck looks like. When you know, you just... You're just doing the same thing you always do. But, like... It just works out so exceptionally well. I want that for me. One good luck, please. Like, I mean, average luck is fine. I'll take average luck. I'm tired of bad luck. <laughs> bad luck all the time. Give me, give me some good luck. Just, you know, a little bit. It's a little taste of the good luck. But man, I can see it now. I'll have like the luckiest mount moon and then I'll get to the end of the game and then I'll be crit by Gyarados and then I will cry <laughs> but I don't want to do all that come on man not like that not like that please no Yo, can I crit this metapod though can I do that nah yo I'm having a pretty low amount of crits I, I didn't crit anything in round 3 Cause I mean, like, I know that sounds weird, but it's like, I don't know, I have what, a 3.6% chance to crit, I think? Actually, yeah, that, that is kind of low. Oh wait, no, 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 it's not 3.6, it's 6.6, .6. that's what it is. I have a 6.6% .6 chance to crit. That's above a 1 out of 20 chance. So it's like, odds are pretty high, I'll crit at least something there. Whatever it is. You know, where is my encounter, man? Come on. Come on, dude. Yo, J2 to hop saying just speedrun Squirtle slash Turtle to uh, Misty at 4250. There's no manips. If this run beats it, your prime on 4 1 is mine. Huh? I mean, you're offering me free prime. That always sounds cool. Oh, whoops. I do not want to name Pidgey. Just speedrun Squirtle slash Turtle to Misty. Oh wait, so you're saying not do not to do the Nido route, but to do the Squirtle route? Oh wow, what are you doing, Vinx? I mean, I've done it in the past. It's been a long time though. Yeah, Squirtle, no minips to get to Misty. And do it like 42.50 or under? Yo, the odds of that are like nothing, dude. <laughs> the, the odds are so low, right? Because it's like, first off, I mean, it's a little bit faster to be fair, because like you're not, you don't have to catch Nidoran. So that's a bit of a time save. And uh, Route 3 is a little bit easier. It's not as, um, 
Yeah, Route 3 is definitely easier now that I think about it, because it's like... All that XP goes to Squirtle. I don't know, that that should be doable, I think. It's been a while, but it... I, oh, wow! Okay. Okay, D-pad. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, if this run I'm on right now beats it? I mean, but I am- I'm definitely using Minips. I mean, I messed up that last minute, but that wasn't on purpose. I was just holding right, and somehow I went up. Like, that happens with this controller now and then. When I hold down too hard on right or left, I can get up and down inputs. Like, on either one. Like, right can be right, up, or down. It can be all three. It's not too bad. It's just like when I'm not paying attention to how hard I'm pressing on the buttons, it'll pop up. Zone PV pace, <laughs> this will change. I mean, we're uh, we're in a bit of a dark spot. Like it's not a super big deal. We only had the one encounter after I failed my manipulation for Paris, and the manipulation for Paris is one encounter anyways. So that's fine. There's a little bit of extra movement, but if I don't have too many encounters between here and the last, you know, it's really not going to cut into my time. But if I run into like four Zubats, I'm going to cry a little bit, but we'll see. If I reset there, it's for RNG manipulation. I failed it. I accidentally got extra movement, which I blame my controller for. I know that sounds like really dumb, but like I promise you, I know my controller really well. Like I'm very knowledgeable when it comes to D-pads. Like the Wii U Pro is a good D-pad, like it's not bad. But it's like, it's the same thing as the Switch Pro controller. And I think the Classic controller does the same thing. It's just the way the D-pad is built. But, like if you press really high or really low on the left or right side of the D-pad, you can get inputs that you're not trying to get. It makes it easier for, like, say, a fighting game. If I was doing a fighting game... Oh, that crit on Bellsprout, thank you. But yeah, if you're playing a fighting game and you're doing inputs like a Shoryuken, where you have to do, like, a forward down forward, like, that's so much easier, because it's like, you won't lose an input sliding between forward to down to down forward. Which can happen when, like, say, you're using a PS4 controller. The PS4 controller... It doesn't have that, like, slide in there. I don't know if that makes any sense, but... Like, with the PS4, like, it's essentially... It's not exactly, but it's essentially, like, four buttons. Versus, like, the full, like, D-pad, right? So, like, there's not that space. You can't just slide from right to down and still be holding an input. No Zubat, no Zubat, no Zubat. Nice. Okay, so the in-game timer isn't stopping me. So yeah, we reset again to save a specific value on that tile. We're taking advantage of that and not have any encounters. So yeah, if I do everything right and the in-game timer doesn't hate me, I will have zero encounters until I get to Team Rocket and I will fight one Paris. But like, I want to fight the Paris. I need to catch him, so that's fine. I need the Paris. It's like, I failed the first manipulation, but this is the backup of sorts. There's two Parises that I'm in it for, I only need to catch one of them. Why haven't I tried PS4 controller yet? I just keep forgetting. I mean to, I just don't really think about it until I'm like already playing the video games. And like, I can't, it doesn't just instantly like plug in, man. It wants me to mess around with it a little bit. Ooh, that was close. That was close right there. A good Paris catch. Alright, so let's evolve into Nidoking. That would be good. One Nidoking, please. Yo, this is not too bad. This is not too bad. This Mount Moon's been alright, dude. This is what, we've had the one encounter? Um, outside of the manipulations. I had the Zubat encounter by accident. But yeah, outside of the two encounters, I've had... Uh, two Manip encounters. I've had one encounter in Mount Moon. And 
Manipulation. The second manipulation is the more important one, and that one went flawlessly, so I'm feeling good. Mbate doesn't recognize it instantly? Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. But yeah, no, I'll, I'll look into that, man. If I remember, I'll do it right after stream. That's what I should do. Gen 1 missed Poison Sting. Poison Sting's 100% accurate, isn't it? Yo, yeah, somebody tell me Poison Sting's 100% accurate so I can be mad that I Gen 1 missed it. I, I'm not sure, maybe it's only 95 like Tackle, but I don't think so. Ooh, that's supersonic, that's really bad. Come on, give me the hit. No! Not like this. Not like this, dude. Come on. Come on, man. This is not what I needed. This is awful. Yeah, we are on pace to save a lot of time. The time's all gone now. I might be dead, actually. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, that's... <sighs> I'm dead. I'm so dead, man. I'm so tilted. I'm so tilted, man. Ah, no, I have time. I can do one more run. Gosh darn it, man. I'm so salty. That is the worst. I had the gold Nidoran split. Mount Moon while, like... I messed up a little bit, it was still- I was gonna save so much time. So much. And then, ugh, the zoo guy, it had the supersonic. It had the supersonic. I had to hit myself in confusion. I used the potion, like, I went for safety strats. I used the potion, and I hit myself in confusion again. It does so much damage at that level that I knocked myself out. Well, I didn't. He used leech life, and it crit. Oh, <laughs> Like, come on! I don't deserve this. I really don't. I just... I don't... What did I do? I'm telling you, man, in a previous life, it wasn't me, but in a previous life, there was a version of myself that just hated luck. And they did everything they could do to get rid of it. They found every four-leaf clover in their entire town, burned them all. It was like, nope, no four-leaf clovers growing in my village. Got rid of all of those. Every salt shaker in the town knocked them all over, dude. Forget salt. I hate salt. Knock them all over. All the black cats? Nah, man. Get rid of all those. Crossed all their paths. And then, uh, mirrors? I was super clumsy in that previous life. I broke every mirror. All of them, man. Every single one. I don't know why. Like, maybe I just really didn't like my reflection. Maybe I was a vampire. Maybe that's why I was knocking out all the salt. I don't know what four-leaf clovers have to do with vampires, if anything. Yeah, maybe I was a vampire in a past life. That explains why I'm crossing the paths of all the black cats. And yeah, that makes sense why I break all the mirrors, dude. Because, like, if they could see- if people don't see my reflection in the mirror, they know I'm a vampire. But if I destroy all the mirrors, they don't have that chance. That has to be what it was. I mean, it's a shame. Like, I mean, it's a little bit cool. Like, hey, I was a vampire in a previous life. But the luck just doesn't make it worth it, man. It's not worth it. Is Mega Punch one hit KO the rat and Zubat? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not certain about that. I can tell you right now, it's not something I can really go for. Like, it's not in my routing. It's not part of my manipulation. If I go for Mega Punch, I'm gonna lose way more time than I'll save by one hitting a Pokemon. So I'll, I'll probably get about 10 or 11 more encounters than I normally do. <laughs> Which, I mean, that sounds like a lot, but that's just Mount Moon. Without my manipulations, I'll run into so many Zubats. It can't be done. Can't be done, man. No Nova Battle with the salt. I'm so salty, man. I can't tell you how salty I am. Like, there's no level. It's like, are you, like, enough salt for, like, some french fries? Are you, like, enough salt to fill the whole shaker? Are you, like, a truckload of salt? Like, no, nah, there's, there's no description, man, for the level of salt that I possess. I just, I don't know what to do, man. I don't know what to do. I've never seen a speedrunner of this game be this unlucky. And I've watched so many Pokemon Red runs. 
like, what do I do? I just gotta, like, probability has to kick in any second now. You can only be so unlucky. Eventually, you're gonna have the good run. That's how it works. And, you know, DJ, DJ Pokin saying, at Super to you, which, which punch is stronger, uh, Dynamic Punch or Focus Punch? Um, I'm gonna go with Focus Punch. I'm pretty sure Focus has the higher base power. I'm not like 100% on that. I don't remember the moves. I don't use them in the speedrun. But... If I were to take a gamble, it would be on Focus Punch. Salty as the sea? Oh man, yeah, that's, that's a good one. I think that, uh, really... What's the word? Encapsulates? My beam? Yo, we will see. We. Will. See. Hello, Professor Oak. Would you mind, ever so much, giving me a Pokedex? Yeah, I got your Oak's parcel. It's for you. What's in it? Oh yeah, it's a part for the Pokédex, isn't it? Maybe? Oh no, it, it's already finished. What's the parcel? What did I deliver to him? Do they tell you what it is in Fire Red? If they do, I, I don't remember. Could have sworn it was a part of the Pokédex, and that's why he didn't give them to us earlier. But maybe he's just old and he forgot. And that's fine too. That's a fast encounter. Hello, Pidgey. How are you? Nice to see you're level two. But uh, I already had an encounter, so be on my way. Don't mind me. I wanna get in your way. Never lucky. There's some black market stuff. What about it? What are we saying here? Wasn't dynamic punch like 100 power and always confused but only 50% hit chance? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. But I'm pretty certain focus punch deals more power. Whatever those power values are, like, I don't know about that. But pretty sure focus punch is the stronger one. Okay. Catch this Nidoran, man. Do it. Focus is more like 50, 60? Nah, I don't think so. I don't, I don't know about that. Focus is 20? Focus Punch is not 20. It is not 20. Or 150. Yeah, that sounds more accurate. <laughs> that sounds more accurate. Like, the only reason I had a, like, slight idea, man, was because, um, back in the day, I was looking for a Pokemon to knock out Ferrothorn, and, uh, there's not, like, a lot of good answers. I eventually settled on Politoed with, uh, what's it called? Focus Blast, maybe? Not Focus Punch. Not Aura Sphere. The Fighting Type special move. Anyways, the Pokemon I saw before Politoed was Poliwrath. And Poliwrath, the most powerful physical fighting type move he had, was Focus Punch. 
And I'm pretty sure he also knows Dynamic Punch. Not 100% on that, but... Focus Punch definitely drew my attention for being so powerful. You thought it was an attack that also buffed you? Didn't realize it was delayed smash kind of thing? Yeah. Like with Focus Punch, if they hit you, you lose the attack. Like, you gotta focus to do your punch. <laughs> focus Blast? Yeah, that's the one. Focus Blast. There we go. That sounds about right. Nova Bound knows what's what. Yo, Maniparan, yo, gotta get them Maniparans, dude. Need them. Alright, this Viridian Forest is going pretty good so far. Feeling a little bit good. A little bit good about this. Okay, don't poison me now. Don't poison me now, Weedle. Yeah, that's what I thought. String shot. Yo, tackle, finish him off. Finish him, finish him. Ah, there's the crits. No, don't poison me. Oh. Never lucky, dude. Never lucky. Never lucky. I should write the book on what it looks like to be never lucky. People just don't get it, man. They don't really know what bad luck is. Not unless they watch my speedruns. If they watch my speedruns, they know <laughs> what it looks like. Thanks would never use Focus Blast. He can't land a 70% accurate move. No, I did, man. I did. But you gotta understand, like, um... I hate moves with that low accuracy. But, when it comes to competitive Pokemon, I make sacrifices. Cause like, I play a mono water team, but like, I need the extra punch, so like, I use Hydro Pump over Scald. Even though Hydro Pump's not that much more powerful, while being quite a bit less accurate. But like, I have to. Like, I have to be able to one-hit certain things with Hydro Pump that Scald can't one-hit. So, I gotta make that gamble. I don't have a choice. Don't have choice, man. Ran Zap Cannon on Raichu? Yo, man. I played against a guy that had a sheer cold team. That was funny. Like, all of his Pokemon just used sheer cold. I think only one of them could, like, guarantee it. I think it was Articuno. I think he had, like, Mind Read or something like that. You know, I could have just knocked out that Weedle and not been poisoned, man. All I had to do was not crit. There was a 6 point six, Or no, actually, I don't know what the base speed for Squirtle is. I'm thinking Nidoran. Yeah, I know Nidoran's crit chance. But Squirtle... <laughs> got me, man. It's gotta be the same or less. Yeah, rip. RIP! Yeah, now I'm done. <laughs> I'm- I'm officially done, man. Ugh, I can't do it, man. I just want to be good at Pokemon. It's all I want to do. Ugh, now maybe I can do one more run. Maybe! Maybe! Yo, give me two seconds. I'll be right back. I'm gonna decide. I think I'm gonna do one more run. Ugh, Pokemon. Alright, I'm back. I've 